Welcome back to 100 degrees. It is 100 on my porch in the shade. <laughs> that always amazes me that you can have that much heat contained in a certain location and that it can be that hot in the shade because in the sun you expect it, but in the shade you wouldn't think so. In Psalms, David experienced almost everything we can imagine, and he expressed it in certain ways that we identify with. So in devotionals, when we look at them, it's always an opportunity to appreciate that it wasn't just a song, but it was a depiction and a reality of him going through something and expressing it to God and not really wanting or anticipating that we ourselves would be having the opportunity to look at it, to compare it, or to use it in the same way that he would. So God chose to express to us, by way of applying it in your life and in mine, his own version of how he would speak to us through the Psalms in emotional and making it a devotional time to reflect on himself and see Jesus in the midst of it. In Psalm 4, we've already gone through 1 through 4, so we're going to use Psalm 4, verse 5 through 8. And it says, Offer the sacrifices of righteousness, and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up thy light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me to dwell in safety. You know, in a lot of the articulation of the way that the word is being said, sometimes it's metered out in different ways according to different instruments. If you were rapping, you'd be japping, you'd be rhyming, you'd be timing, you'd be saying it, and then doing the yada yadas. You know, so you would meter it out. So sometimes in King James or in some ways, the words don't seem to fit in a certain way. So it's okay to realize that there might be some more to it than what you're just reading as because it says offer the sacrifice of righteousness righteousness is right doing it's choosing the right thing to do and sometimes there's a cost in choosing what to do right for instance like if you have the opportunity you know it would be easy to jaywalk we'll say and to cut across you know but you risk the idea of there could be a police officer and give you a ticket or you could get away with it. Or if you were jaywalking and you were holding children's hands and showing them a bad example, then guess what? When they were by themselves and they walked out in the street and got hit by a car, wouldn't that be a bad way to exemplify what God would say to you today? That he wants you to be an example of righteousness, of right choices, of making the right choice? So something as simple sometimes as jaywalking can apply to more than just yourself. It can have an effect on other people. And they might imitate you and do the same thing and wind up getting themselves hurt. Now, jaywalking could be a bad example and you could use it in other ways. But the idea of being an example and offering the sacrifices of righteousness means making the right choice because it is a cost to you that you have to make that conscious decision to go in the right way and to do as Jesus says so that way people who are watching you the angels in heaven as well as the people around you would know that it's a right choice and not a wrong choice so don't be surprised if God starts to work on you in a certain way to make different choices which will cost you something because to follow God to be a Christian is a matter of choices and you sometimes have to sacrifice something in order to make the right choice as opposed to the wrong one and in putting your trust in the Lord then you know that making the right choice is going to bring about a benefit to you and it will cause a reward someday but in the short term it will also protect you from things that might harm you along the way you know, there'll be those who will always ask, you know, well, what good is it, you know? What good is it to do the right thing, you know? And they'll say, but look at all the other people, you know, they, they have money. For instance, like in verse 7, when it says that their wine increased and their corn increased, and, you know, everybody partied and had a good time. But you see, 
there's also something else that happens when we trust in God. There's also something else that we know because we see that in the long term that when God chooses to bless us, he does so because not the works of righteousness which he has done, but according to his mercy he saved us, but also because we've chosen to walk in a path and a follow in a way that God can bring about his personal revelation of himself to you so that you would feel the same joy, the same peace, the same love that Jesus did by making the right choices that Jesus made. Because as you go through your day making those right choices, then you find there is good. The good that you feel in being an example of a believer to the person that's watching you. And the light of God's countenance then, when he shines upon you, is the same euphemism that's used in order to describe the Holy Spirit. When the heavens opened up and you could see God seated on his throne, that was what Stephen said in the midst of what? Being stoned to death. The light of his countenance was opened up and he could see. And you know that if God opens up and causes his countenance to shine upon you, that there is nothing that can harm you because you are being brought into God's presence, and in his presence is joy forevermore. So, when you have gladness at heart, you'll know that in the light of his countenance, that because you've done the right thing, because you have gone in the way of the Lord and chosen to sacrifice, making those works of righteousness which you have done, according to his mercy saving you, that you have made those choices because you know that God is good and he's taking care of you, you'll be able to lay down at night to sleep good, to be able to dwell in safety and to not have to worry about is someone going to break in your house? Is someone going to attack you while you sleep? You'll rest in the confidence knowing that God himself is in control. Because in this psalm from four, from five all the way through eight, we know that the offering of the sacrifices of righteousness by trusting ourselves in the Lord causes us to know his salvation in everything that we do throughout our day today tomorrow and the next day because the sacrifices that we make in order to find that righteousness is to learn to trust in the lord daily as we learn to hear his voice as we walk with him day by day hour by hour minute by minute until the day we walk literally like with enoch into heaven and God takes us for we are here no more